chapter four. What is I doing? What is I doing? I like, cause, cause, right? It's like, okay, this is I. I am here. I exist. Okay, then, then what the hell am I even doing here? Like, what, what do I do now? Now that I know what I'm I, okay, now what? Basically. Yes. And yeah, and we talked about this earlier. It really feels like the word play mm-hmm. and characters in play mm-hmm. can be a powerful way of seeing what is happening. Yes. Yes. And so then we wonder, like, is I then playing with choice? So I's playing with these characters, with these identities. Mm-hmm. So it's choosing character identities. And, and, and making decisions. Because, again, we ask the question, what is I doing? All right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. And that's your answer. Are you, are you sitting here listening to us? Are you kind of walking around your kitchen, making food while you're listening? That's what I is doing. And so I think that's important because it goes from what is John doing to what is I doing? Yes. And, it, and it gives you um, a more foundation, uh, a deeper foundation as to who you actually are. Because now you're starting to implement it in your daily life. Yes. You start to say, okay, what is I doing opposed to what is John doing? And it, to me, it makes me seem bigger. I, yeah. I feel more vast, you know, like, all right, there's a task for I to do. <laughs> I feel like if I's doing something, it better be important. Like, what am I doing? Like, I'm, I'm a part of this. I'm sharing this I with everybody else. So what choices am I making? You know, yes. you are the one that's making all the choices that forms the life that you're living. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So let's say that some of the key words are play, mm-hmm. character, yes. and choice. Choice. So then what we're hinting at is what are you doing in the sense of how are you choosing or what are you choosing when you're waking up every day and let's say you're coming from the knowledge or maybe just the label. If you're coming from just the label, your choice patterns will be different than if you're coming from I knowing itself and being the label at the same time. Yes. And so your choice patterns will be different. You move differently. They'll move, you'll move differently throughout. And when you look at, quote, other people, the, you'll feel the I behind them, the label. And so your choice pattern will be different when you engage with them. You'll have more of a tendency towards love and unity mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff and less of a tendency towards that's a separate person that I can take advantage of and extract things from whatnot. That so, resonance. So, so you're going to have different choice patterns. And so one, one way to sort of, you could say, create more will or create more sovereignty is to like question your choice patterns and to, let's say, create more of a shift into what you actually desire, what you actually will, like what, uh, this is a great question. Like what's in your North star position, your entire day will morph towards that and it might be something as simple as right now my little north star is to get some food okay I'll yeah yeah food. i was i was gonna say right. explain some to them what one. that means yeah like a <clears throat> simple one versus something that might be a little bit more, more like grand goal grand goal yeah so, so your say, grand goal might be achieving a project or some sort of a, a company or yes. goal of that sort or having a family yes uh, yeah yeah and then and so day to day what choices am i making that's going towards this north star or this goal yes and like you said like we said the power of choice there's so much power I would I would almost say that, I mean, maybe there's many reasons as to why we're here, but a big reason is to make choices. And I, I feel like, doesn't that sound so simple? Yes. We're yep. just here to make some choices. Just here to make some choices. <laughs> yes. And a, yeah. one of the most important choices mm-hmm. is to forget or yeah. remember, which we'll talk about in more, in more detail. Yeah. And it, to in a sense, liberate yourself more from the conditioned habits and patterns Mm -hmm. of being just the label. Mm -hmm. And as you kind of question your patterns and your habits, you can feel like an increase in choice and an increase in like a differentiation. It'll feel different where you come from when you have the knowledge of I and the label at the same time. Yes. And then that power for choice, how you'll like direct your attention then is going to feel, uh, I don't even know, like 
who was I before yeah. knowing this? Yeah. And that was one of the questions that you asked in the documentary that's coming up, which is really interesting. Yeah. yeah. I just kind of want to know, I wanted to know who were the people that we, that we were talking to prior to them basically expanding their minds before accepting more, a lot of them accepting, you know, that they're I and that there's more to them than just their namesake. What were you like before that? And a yes. lot of them were, you know, deep size. You know, like, I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> but it's, it's okay because we all have that. Well, everyone that's crossing over into I, it's like there was a you before you decided to be I. <laughs> and most likely it was your name. <laughs> and uh, we were lost, you know, just unaware, not knowing what decisions we're making or the impact that they'll have. And again, now that you know that you're I and you have this powerful choice, you can choose wisely. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. That's it. <laughs> yeah.